Hello, I'm Chuck Phillip with South Alabama Home Inspections and uh, welcome to another edition of Southern Home Talk. I've already got several of these on my channel already about HVAC systems, but I figured since I had several going on at one time, this would be beneficial for you to watch as well. Uh, you can see there's some dark staining right there. It's probably mold and probably dust from where it's been pulling unfiltered air uh, through the closet. And so if you ever uh, look at your closet door frame and see a lot of dust going up it, it tells you that it's pulling in unfiltered air. Uh, but a bigger problem is you got holes in the wall and all this should be sealed. There should be no gaps. You can see where they got the tape going there and then it stops and all this needs to be sealed. You got a distribution uh, cable coming through right there at the distribution trunk and you can see a lot of dark staining around that. And so it's probably discharging some air from that as well. So that needs to be sealed. Uh, but the main thing I wanted to show you was down here in the return itself. Now this didn't have a filter on here when I arrived. And so you can see how dirty it is. You can see spider webs and spiders love cool damp areas and that's what this return is. And this pipe that you see going right there, uh, that's the condensate drain line. And so uh, if you see that sweating in here, it tells you, you could probably have some high indoor humidity problems. Now, we're going to take a look at the evaporator coil and so I can actually get to this one. That's why I want to show it to you. If I can get down here. I don't know if you can see all that up there. It looks like, I know it's pretty windy too, but that's all dust. Probably some mold on that coil too. That's the evaporator coil. You got one on the outside and one on the inside. One on the inside is the evaporator coil. But you can see here in this corner where there's it's not sealed there either. And so it's pulling unfiltered air uh, from the lower return area. You can see in the corner there too. And so you can probably hear me better now with all the wind uh, going on, you know. But in case you didn't hear me with all that wind, uh, this is the evaporator coil that's inside here and you have the condenser coil on the outside and these should be cleaned once a year uh, by a qualified HVAC company. I've already did an episode on here about uh, the outdoor unit and how to go about doing that yourself and, and how to make sure that it's done correctly if you hire someone to do it. And so you really want to keep these return areas clean and dry because this is pulling this air all through your house. And this can make you uh, vulnerable to allergies and some other health issues if this isn't taken care of. I uh, hope this has been informative, guys, and take care.